all to new friends. Noreen here today with a couple of cards I made using the Cozy Flannel die as well as the From Our Home stamp and die set. Let me clarify at the outset, I rarely have a finished result in mind when I begin to create. That was the case today and that explains why you will see in the background occasionally some other colored panels that don't make it into the final project. Here I'm painting an A2 sized watercolor panel with Lagoon watercolor paint and then I take it and dry it with a heat gun so that I can chase the color around in that pattern that you see. I die cut the dry card panel with the cozy flannel background die and covered the front with some glad wrap press and seal to keep all the pieces intact. I was having some issues with my recording equipment and my head getting in the way and had to refilm a couple of steps at different times. So where I say I used press and seal and you don't see any, that would be why. At this point now, I'm laying tiny dots of glue on all the bitty pieces in the die cut. I'm going to refer to that from now on as the negative pieces of the die. And my intention then will be to flip it over and lay it onto a piece of printer paper to keep them all in place so that I can pull off the positive piece of the die cut and use it on a second card front. So at this point you're probably thinking, wait, what? Where's the blue watercolor paper piece? Well, what I did was repeat my steps with a piece of plain white watercolor paper so that I would have a matching and reverse set of what I've got with the blue watercolor paper. What that's going to give me is two card fronts, one where blue watercolor paper bits have been inlaid into a white background and white watercolor paper bits have, that have been laid into a blue background. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So once again what I'm doing here is just running a really fine bead of Tombow Mono Multi Adhesive onto the background so that I can adhere this to a thin sheet of typing paper. I like to use that because it's really lightweight and it saves my card from getting too bulky. So the next step you can see now is I've filled all the little squares with adhesive and I can lay my painted piece down. It's all held intact by that press and seal and I can just feel and press all those cut pieces into their little holes on the white background. I divided this process in two steps, doing first all the squares and then going back and repeating the process with all the little tiny dash lines just to keep it more manageable. I found that using a stylus helped to press all the little dash lines into their openings and because everything lines up so perfectly it's just a matter of pushing it out of the positive shape into the little corresponding holes below. So there you can see one finished card front already and I'll just repeat those steps with the other one to, to get the second card front. For adhering that large positive piece of the die, you could totally just use some spray adhesive or whatever you prefer that's quick and easy. I didn't have mine handy at the moment and my Tombow glue was still handy so that's what I ended up using. Then I used my bone folder to burnish it well and make sure it was all well adhered. At this point I began to stamp the little houses. I stamped a couple of trees with moss colored ink and realized then that I'd forgotten to do what I usually do with my brand new stamps and that's just to rub them with a white eraser to help condition the surface of the stamps to accept ink more readily. Because I have two card fronts now I stamped two houses each with two little trees. For one house I used a combination of Volcano Lake and Emerald colored inks and for the other one I used Volcano Lake and Lagoon and one house got a dark chocolate roof that sounds yummy and the other house got a black roof. Then I used Heartbeat ink for the red doors 
And finally, I die cut all the individual pieces. Next, I stamp the sentiment from the little stamp set that says From Our Home to Yours onto black cardstock using Altenu embossing ink. I used white embossing powder and heat embossed it and then I cut it into a little narrow strip. After arranging the house and the little trees onto the black sentiment strip, I cut a little fishtail on the left and adhered everything to the card front. I added some red enamel dots and there are the cards for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and these cards and that I've inspired you to give this inlay die cutting technique a try. Thanks for stopping by today and we'll see you again very soon. Thank you.